Hello, welcome to Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store. What do you think? Think that kind of rolls off the tongue pretty well? Well, we'll keep that in the running. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today checking out Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator. So, fun fact about Dave. Dave's wicked into hydroponics right now. Last Christmas, Mrs. Dave got me, like, baby's first hydroponics kit. It's this tiny, tiny little hydroponics thing, and I have made so much spinach. You have no idea the amount of spinach we have consumed in this house since I got that thing, and I'm wicked into it. So when this key popped up for Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator, I said, well, that's just perfect. That's exactly what I'm into right now. So thanks to the folks over there for sending along that key. There is, of course, a link to the Steam page down below if you want to go check it out for yourself. Let's grow some spinach. Now, I have done absolutely nothing with Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator except fire this up and hit record. So I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. It looks like I've got about 500 bucks. I mean, I say about 500 bucks. I have exactly $500 on me right now. And I'm supposed to fill the store shelves. Okay, so... If I press tab, what happens? Opening the store. Okay, fill the shelves. So this is like my little quest line here. Edit the price tag, open the store, serve some people. Gotcha. So fill fill the store shelves. Ah, well, over here, we've got a bunch of romaine lettuce. I'm actually growing romaine lettuce right now. It's like literally downstairs. I've got romaine growing in my hydroponics. Arugula, I have not done. Bok choy, I'm not actually sure what bok choy is. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Take the box, okay, and then fill the shelves. Is this is this technically a shelf? Okay, fill fill the shelves here. How do we how do we go about doing that? Okay, there we go. So that's uh that's bok choy, is it? All right. How, what do I do with the empty boxes? Uh, that door needs to be unlocked later. Okay, what what do I do with these? Oh wait, there's more stuff over here. More arugula, more bok choy. More romaine. Romaine is very easy to grow. I gotta give him that. Wait, this is a fish. How? Okay, okay. I admit, I'm fairly new to the hydroponics game. I've only been doing it about a year. But nobody told me that you can grow fish in a hydroponics tray. Ah, so if I just drop the box, the box goes away. I also notice I'm leaving footprints all over the place here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna have to clean up at some point. So... Fill this with that. All right, there's some arugula going in there. Arugula also very easy to grow in hydroponics. Uh, go ahead and throw the box down, and the box disappears. All right, well let's um let's put some fish in here, I guess. Yeah, a bunch of fish going in there, and um we got fish now. I don't normally consider that with hydroponics, but hopefully that will become evident later. Let's get some more romaine. No, no, ro yeah, there we go. Romaine lettuce. Get this over here. Where am I at, by the way? Just got to put in, like, one more shelf, and I am good to go. So fill that up in there. Okay. And then throw the box away. Claim this. What am I going to get for that? Do I get anything? I didn't get any money for that. Okay. Edit the price tag. All right. So maybe go up to here to press T to sell. No, I don't want to sell the shelf. I want to I wanna edit the price tag. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just wasn't clicking on it properly. So what what do I want to sell this at? I have no idea. What, it, what did it cost me to make? I mean, it cost me a seed and some hydroponics. Mostly it's the electricity, if you're honest, because it's that light. So if I said, like, I don't know, $2 for that? Is that, is that a good amount for that? And that went across the board, too. Um, how much for the fish? Let, let's get this under control here. How about... I gotta figure it's five bucks for a fish, right? And like, I don't know, two for the bok choy? Again, I'm not really sure what bok choy is. I'm sure I'll be told in comments. And how about three for that? I don't know if these are good prices or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Claim that and now open the store. Okay, so there's my open sign over there. We are uh, open, open. How do I, how do I open my store? Oh, no, never mind. I got it. Okay, okay, it's on the door. It's on the door. All right, ready for business. Ready ready for business. Welcome to Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store. How far can I go around here? I mean, there doesn't seem, it seems to be a little bit of a lull right now, a little bit of a slow open to the day. Can I sort of wander around here? Oh, hi! Are you coming over to Dave's awesome bok choy fish hydroponic store? Because I've got bok choy and fish. No, I have no idea how I'm growing fish. Are you getting some, uh, some romaine here? It's, it's very, um, it's probably organic, and that's probably an organic fish. No, I, I have no idea how I grew them in a in a hydroponics tray. 
I don't know. Well, I mean, there's water in it. I suppose they could swim under it. Um, hi, welcome to Dave's awesome bok choy hydroponic fish store. Now, what I'm concerned about is they're all saying how great the prices are, which means I'm probably not charging enough. Hello, welcome to Dave's awesome bok choy fish hydroponic store. Um, what do you what do you want me to do? Uh, can only be processed to the cashier. Okay, how do I do I do I take your bag? How do I how do I, sir, sir? Can you can you give me kind of a heads up on what I'm supposed to be doing here? I'm gonna try and take your money. Oh, I have to be right up on it. Okay, got it, got it, sir. I'm in, I'm in, there we go. Okay, um, do I do I just submit that? How do we, oh, I gotta give you change, oh Lord. Uh, 20, 30, one, two, three, four. Yes, I have to say it out loud, sir, otherwise you're not gonna get the right change. Have a wonderful bok choy day. Um, hi, welcome to Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store. 43 to you, okay. Uh, 43. No, that's, no, 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 no. No, that, that's, that's $4,000. She's going to be very angry about that when she gets her bill. Hi, welcome to Dave's awesome bok choy fish store hydroponics thing. Um, uh, come, come here. Give me your money. Uh, what do you want? 35? Okay, that's an easy one. 10, 20, 30, 5. Have a wonderful bok choy hydroponic fish day. Um, maybe you could take off the headphones? I'm just saying it's rude. It's rude. I like the sunglasses and the headphones. You're basically saying to me, don't talk to me ever. I don't want to engage with you at all. And frankly, that's just rude. I'm, um, you are not welcome back to, I, did, I think I just gave you the wrong money. Uh, no, take, 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 I know, I know. Okay, um, have a, have a wonderful day. Okay, the shelves are empty. Hang on, hang on. I, I'm still working out this lady's change. One, two. Um, I'm pretty sure that's your correct change. Um, can we close? I would love to close right now. I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't have... I gotta give you change. I, I don't have any more bok choy or... Wait, did you guys buy all the fish? You bought all the fish? We're... You can't keep fish in a bag like this. This is insane. Um, nine... Nine dollars for you. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful bok choy hydroponic fish day. And six for you. Okay, and you're back and you want... Uh, what have you got here? I gotta give you 23. That's 20... One, two, three. Yes, I have to say it out loud, sir. Otherwise, you're getting the wrong change. No, it's just rude. It's rude. You're saying, I do not acknowledge you as a human being. I've got headphones and sunglasses on. Just at least take off the headphones so you can pretend... Oh, I haven't done this properly. So I can at least... Pre you can at least pretend... Pretend... You can't even hear me. You can't even hear me yelling at you. Okay, okay. Cl close the place up. How do we... How do we close the store here? I want to... I want to be- no, no, sir, I don't- I don't have anything anymore. No, just please go away. I'm begging you to leave. Just go. Okay, uh, first of all, can I take more than one box? No, no, I can't. Okay, it's one box at a time. Now, I'm not actually sure if I had romaine in here. I think this is a bok choy one, but it seems to be, you know, setting it at the correct price, I think. Um, let's bump this up, by the way. This is $4 now, sorry. Um, I, I will be with you uh, when I can get with you. Thank you very much. I'm a little busy over here. You might notice I'm the only person working here, and I've got hydroponics to go check on. No, I know. Uh, they, they, no, you're right. They largely take care of themselves. That's kind of the point. You can just put the seed in there and walk away for, like, a week or so. It's great. Okay, okay, what do you want? Uh, you need 42 back. 20, 40, 1, 2. Yes, I have to say it out loud. Um, hi, what do you want? Well, I know what you want. You want romaine. It's the only thing I've got on the shelf, lady. Uh, so what do you want? 44? Wait, 44? How many of those did you buy? I, I really need to close. I desperately need to close this store. I can't keep this up. The, the stress of hydroponics is far more than I engage in at home. It's, it's actually a very peaceful process. You just sort of sit there and watch things grow. It's kind of like sorcery. I don't know where the fish come into the picture. I hope Mrs. Dave is not expecting me to start growing fish. I mean, we've got a cat. That just sort of seems like a recipe for disaster. 38 back to you. 20, 35, 1, 2, and 3 is 38. Yes, I have to say it out loud. Have a wonderful bok choy hydroponic fish day. I don't know. I'm still working on it, dude. What do you think? I know. No, we can't really do cereal. I can't, I can't do cereal in a hydroponic store. I mean, I could. I could just buy some cereal and sell it here. It's, it's just that, you know, it doesn't really play. This is about, like, plants and farming and stuff. I'm holding you up. Okay, there we go. Close the store. No, we're closed, dude. We're closed. Walk away, man. Just walk away. Okay, nothing to see here. There's literally nothing to see here. I gotta go get some fish. Hang on. Can I put more than one box in here? No, that's full. Okay. So only one box of fish per, per 
tank, I guess. Uh, can I put that down there? There we go. Okay. And what have I got here? I got some arugula. Yeah, I've got I've got nothing around here. I got to stock everything up. So stock that in there. And we're charging what three for that? Uh, how about a little bit more on that? Everyone seemed to be wicked cool with the prices, so I think I'm okay to bump them up a little bit. I mean, it looks like a cross between a cabbage and an onion. Is that what bok choy is? Because that's a disturbing combination. Okay, what time is it? It's almost five o'clock. Is there an end of the day at some point where I just sort of say, okay, I'm going to bed now, goodbye. I'm going to temporarily open up and see if, I don't know, the day ends. And like, okay, your shop is like totally closed now. Or can I run 24-7 hydroponics? Find out where the light switch is now, Dave, because you do that in every simulator game. You're doing half the recording in the dark, and then you're like, oh, there's a light switch. And your people in comments are like, yeah, dude, there's a light switch. Hello, welcome to Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store. What do you think? Think that kind of rolls off the tongue pretty well? Oh, well, keep that in the running. All right, so you're getting some bok choy and a fish. Boy, your family's going to be shocked when you come home. Again, though, everyone's like wicked happy about the prices. They're like, oh my god, this is such a great deal. I'm, I'm clearly not charging enough. I'm clearly not charging nearly enough for a fish. Um, hi, welcome. Uh, $31. Okay, $31. And thank you very much. Have a wonderful bok choy hydroponic fish day. Yeah, she's saying the prices are wicked good too. I gotta, I gotta bump up all of these prices. I'm just, I'm clearly not charging even close to enough for these things. I don't know. What's the going rate on a fish? with bok choy like 10 bucks i don't know Alrighty, sir 23 dollars to you have a wonderful bok choy hydroponic fish day still plenty of customers in here and it's seven o'clock yeah see everyone's everyone's like the price is great the price is great they're loving the prices that means you're not being charged enough uh 28 back to you 20 five six seven eight yes i have to say it out loud otherwise you get the wrong change what would you like, sir? You've got a credit card here for $46. We're actually almost at our secondary goal of getting $1,000 on hand. In fact, if I could get a few more customers, I can probably do that. How many fish did you buy, sir? $27 worth of bok choy and fish. Okay, so it's 7 o'clock. The day just stops. Gotcha. Okay, continue to the next day by clicking the store door. I will. What I'm going to do is stock up first, though. So... Romaine, well, everything. Romaine, arugula, plenty of fish. Let's bump up the price of the fish, too. I don't think this is high enough. How about we try for seven bucks? And that translates over to that one. And what else do I need here? A little bit of arugula. That's fine. And more romaine. Got it. I should have some more of that back here somewhere. Thankfully, I've got a decent amount of stock here. Uh, wait, my, there we go. There's a romaine in the back there. Oh, I left a box of fish on the floor. That was very silly of me. Uh, that is full. Okay. Put the box of fish back here. You, you don't you don't want to be tripping over a box of fish. And then how did we how did we close the day again? Was it over here? I feel like it was over here. Now how did we actually do? All right, we sold a hundred vegetables and twenty seven fish to twenty three people. Four thirty nine in income, and we didn't really spend any money. I can see where we're going to sp be spending a lot of money in the future. But we didn't spend any money, so that was pure profit today. Okay, everything's stocked up. Everything's ready to go. Maybe I want to bump the prices up a little bit more. Yeah, I think this bok choy is way too cheap. I don't know what it is, but I'd pay more than that for it. Okay, Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store is ready. Ready for business. Ready for business. Is there anything else I can be doing while I'm doing all of this? I mean, there's a lot of chapters here. There's a lot going on. I do see decoration, but it doesn't look like I can get into this yet. That says chapter five. That's four chapters from where we are right now. Hello, welcome to Dave's Hydroponic Bok Choy Fish Store. I see you're choosing fish today. The fish is slightly more expensive than it was yesterday. Hopefully nobody told you how cheap it was yesterday. Did you come running down here? Because you're like, oh my God, they've got the cheapest fish ever. I'm totally getting in on some cheap fish. And then you walk in and you're like, wait a minute, these fish are actually reasonably priced and well within a competitive price range for other fish in the area. All right, now they're saying a fair price. That's, I'm a little more encouraged about that. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I'm not actually cashier cashierizing. Cashierizing? Cashierizing? I'm not, I'm not taking your money, lady. Uh, so 54 to me. Thank you very much. That'll actually, one more customer and I've got my little check off my quest thing. So you want 37? Well, I want 37. You want a fish. No, it's just rude. 
it's rude is what I'm saying. I don't care what your deal is. I don't care how cool you think you want to look. It's just rude to engage with someone while you're wearing sunglasses and headphones. I think Captain Headphones here, yeah, just bought the last of my stuff. That's it. I got nothing left in the shop right now. So just 10 for you. Well, 10 for me, really. So rude. Um, I need to break off and actually just close the store for a bit. Um, hang on. No, 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 no. We, we are closing. We are closed. Thank you. Clo closed. Closed. There we go. All right. We are closed. Everybody go away. I've got to restock and I've got to claim my things here. So I have served customers. Yes. And I've gotten a thousand dollars. Yes. Hire a cashier. Could not be happier to hear that. The, my concern, however, is I'm running out of bok choy and fish. I mean, I've got a stock over here, but not a lot. We're not going to be able to do this for very long without running out of stuff. And, you know, it's a game about growing things. I haven't grown anything. I'm waiting to get out here. I mean, come on, how cool does this look? I can grow so many things in there. I've got a perfectly good greenhouse and all I'm doing is storing arugula in it, not growing arugula in it. Okay, how do we go about hiring somebody? So claim that. Now I can open the greenhouse. Oh, happy day. But can I hire somebody? So, okay, here we go. Ethan, Isabella, Aiden. Now you've got stats, hardworking, planting, maintenance, and harvest. Gotcha. So right now I'm just hiring a cashier, but obviously it looks like later I'll be hiring people to do the growing and the farming and the whatnot. Well, cashier, I mean, hard work is probably going to be the biggest thing here, but it doesn't look like I can actually hire him. So that's not until chapter three. So how do I, is there something I'm missing down here about hiring? Because I don't, I don't feel like, have I hired someone? Oh my God, who are you? What? Why do you work here? I didn't even interview you. You just showed up off the street and started working here. Also, why is my door being flagged? Probably because I need to go open the greenhouse. Um, okay, I have no idea who you are. I don't even know your name. What's your name? I'm going to call you Bill. Okay, Bill, we're working on uh, sort of a, a branding thing here. So when people come in, here's what you're going to do. Uh, when people come in, you're going to say, hi. Welcome to Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but it's all about branding, Bill. You got to brand yourself here. And then when they leave, you say, have a wonderful hydroponic bok choy fish day. I know it's, it's a little wordy. No, I would like you to say it to every customer because I'm the boss. You should also give Bill something to do by opening the store. Okay, good luck on your first day, Bill. I remember the welcome hydroponic bok choy fish store. You got that, right? Do you want me to write it down? I could put like a little post-it note right here or something. All right, let's open up a greenhouse here. Yes, I, oh wow, $1,000. Um, sure, yeah, why not? Go ahead. <gasps> I'm in heaven. Oh my God, if I actually had this, if I actually own this, Mrs. Dave would never see me again. She'd never see me again. I'd just be out here all the time. I mean, she could see me. She could say, well, Dave's probably out in the greenhouse. I should go see him there. But if she was going to like hang out on the couch and watch movies or something, she would never see me because I would never leave this place. All right, I got to buy some stuff, uh, buy a raft grow bed. I should also, I got to think about restocking too, because a couple of these, yeah, this is already out. So we've already sold out. How's it going, Bill? Good, good, good hustle there. Um, let's just restock wicked quick uh, just so Bill has something to do and people have something to buy because I imagine some of these grow bed things might be a little bit of money. I don't know. They're just putting the fish in a bag. Like, shouldn't they have like a bowl of water or something? Like, you know, okay, Bill, you ever been to a carnival or a fun fair or something like that? You know, you, you, you throw the little hoop at the thing and then you like win a fish, right? Because that's like carnival stuff. But they, they don't give you the fish in a bag, right? All right, they give it to you like a little bowl, like a little plastic bowl or something like that. And then you take the fish home and you're like, oh my God, mom and dad, I want a fish. And then the fish is dead in three days. And then they have to explain death to you. And it's kind of a bad, yeah. I'll, I'll let you get on with your work, Bill. Okay, how, first of all, where do I buy these things? There we go. And then how much do they cost? So a plant shelf. Okay, so I could actually put some more stuff out on the, on the floor, on the sales floor. Double aquarium. Gotcha. I got 536 bucks. You need me to buy seeds, a grow bed. I don't, I don't see this here. Ah, here we go. Grow bed, a raft grow bed. Oh, this is so much more advanced than what I have at home. It's like seriously like baby's first hydroponics kit. So 24 plants and, and six fish, apparently. 
Uh, I, I will get there, Bill. Just don't don't be barking down my snorkel here. I got to buy a thing. Okay. It's been delivered. Check the assembly area. Oh, I got to put it up myself. Um, Bill, you want it to be a solid man? Um, this is here, but I'm not going to deal with it right now. I'm going to go stock up the store here because we have literally nothing right now. Uh, what are we doing for money? Actually, we're not doing that bad. Uh, sorry, I kind of threw that at you, Bill. That was a little rude of me. Good news is we're going to be closing soon. Bad news is I have no food. I have nothing left. I can't even get through another day's business here. This is going to be sold out almost by the time we close the shop, and I'm pretty sure I'm out of fish. Hello, welcome to Dave's awesome bok choy hydroponic fish store. See how easy that is, Bill? Wicked easy, Bill. Okay, so when this guy leaves, when this guy leaves, you say, thank you. Thank you for coming to Dave's awesome hydroponic bok choy fish store. Well, it's a bit... I, I, I offered to put it on a post-it note for you. You refused. That's it. That's the last of my bok choy. I've got nothing left. I've got... that. That's just an empty box. Uh, you know what? Maybe I might need an empty box. I don't know. Uh, I've got a little tiny bit of arugula. Do I have any fish over here? Uh, yeah, actually I do. I've got five fish left. May as well throw those in there. The day just ended. Thank goodness. Um, Bill, when you're done with her, you can knock off for the day, man. Good good first day, dude. Good hustle. All right, let's see what it is that we do here. So how how does this work? Oh, oh, I've uh, moved this. Oh, right, that just snaps over there. Okay. It's just it looks like the pipe is over here. That seems like like where I want this, right? Um, how can we can we move this? How do we... I'm a little fuzzy on this one. I brought it through to the next day, but I'm not going to open yet. Bill, you're kind of on free time. Maybe just clean up a little bit around here. I got to figure out how how we do this. Because the pipe is over here. Okay, oh, the pipe moves. So that goes there. Okay, and ah, okay, all right. It, it's coming together now. It's coming together. All right, so we just got to kind of move this piece by piece over here until we built the thing. So put that over there. And then you got another pipe here. Where does that pipe live? That pipe lives over here. And then this is probably a filter of some sort, I imagine. Uh, that goes over there. And then you've got another pipe that goes here. And then racks of these things. Okay, so it gets delivered piece by piece. Then we just got to kind of snap it together. That's, oh, and now I can move it. Oh, good. It's not stuck there. Excellent. I, yeah, good. I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have it there. So hold this down and we're going to move this. <sighs> well, in my heart, I want to move it as far away as humanly possible just to make it super, super inconvenient for me to get there. Also, can we rotate this in any way? Uh, R, Q, E, how about, you? oh, just spin it, Dave, just spin it. It was just middle mouse. It wasn't that complicated, man. I should probably leave myself some room around it to get, you know, around it. And it does seem like it, it kind of, no, actually I can put that right outside the glass. But I was going to say it factors that in by not letting me put it too close to a wall. But no, 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 I can put it right through the glass. How about we just start simple? Just go right there. Ah, it's got analysis. Grow bed analytics. Success rate zero. Yes, I know there's nothing in it. Ooh, infected plants. That's probably going to be a problem. Special commodity chance increase. Well, I would like to press F for more information. Thank you very much. I can't get any more information. There is no any more information. So are we going to get, like, maybe, I don't know, a really good stock of romaine out of this? And it'll be, like, super awesome bonus romaine that we can get more for. Speaking of romaine, I'm supposed to be buying seeds for that. And I've already banged out building that and putting it together and moving it around. I've done all of those things. So seeds, you want me to buy romaine and l spinach. I am so good at spinach. They're just bags of frozen spinach in my freezer right now. It's so easy to grow. All right. So this is going to be $6 for 12 pieces, 12 seeds. Okay, well, let's just start simple. Let's buy one of those, okay, and one of those. Now, what else can we grow while I'm here? Kale, also very, very easy to grow, but I'm not a big fan of it. I try to only grow things that I actually want to eat. Mint, butterhead lettuce, that's good. Cabbage, cabbage would be tricky in hydroponics. I mean, it's just a big thing. Chives, don't eat chives. Got chives growing outside. You can't kill chives. Chives are basically immortal. 
I've had, I don't even know where we got chives. I seriously don't. No, that's not, that's, that's not sarcasm or comedy. I, we have chives growing in our yard and I legitimately did not plant them. They just showed up one day and we're like, Hey, we're chives. And I'm like, cool. I like chives. Everyone likes chives. Chives are great. They're basically immortal. They're functionally immortal. You cannot kill those things. I have done nothing, nothing to maintain them. I have ignored them for bordering on a decade now. And they will not die. And I keep getting chives, so that's a pretty good gig. Okay, uh, so those were delivered. Uh, delivery package. There we go. Right there. Okay, so I've got some seeds for romaine. Now just go and plant these. Oh yeah, they just pop right in. Oh, that was easy. Oh good, can I just throw this out and it disappears? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say right now, Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator. I love the fact that if I just toss the box away, it disappears. I don't have to take it out to a garbage can or a recycling thing or a, a dumpster or something. I really do appreciate that. And we're going to go pop this in here. There we go. And we're basically done. I mean, I could have got like, well, no, it's full. No, it's full, Dave. You, you've got it. It's full, man. You've filled your thing here. Okay. Um, throw the box away and make it disappear. I've got to claim this and claim that and then plant and harvest. Have I not planted it? Well, I haven't harvested it, Dave. You've planted it, that's true. But there's two parts to this quest, you see. Planting and harvesting. Okay, planting and harvesting. You've only done one of those right now. Now, bit of a hitch, I've got nothing left. I have nothing to get through this day. I, I suppose I could buy another thing and just keep tossing arugula in here. Yeah, that one's already full. Um, Bill, I don't really know what we're gonna do today. This might be kind of a free time day. Oh wait, never mind. This 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 stuff is growing frighteningly fast. Okay, kind of the thing of hydroponics is indeed you, it does grow very very quickly, but not this quickly. And also, this is special quality. That's regular. That's special. Um, this is regular regular. How about my uh, my spinach here? Regular. No specials in there. It doesn't look like. Um. Do I just, do I just go take this now? And actually, can I get the more info thing now on the special commodity? Nope, still nothing there. Uh, harvest box. Okay, get this. And do I just, um, like, get this? Oh, and it takes all of them. Oh, good, I don't have to do it one at a time. Thank you. Uh, cannot mix commodity. Oh, I was trying to get spinach. Okay. And do I just, hang on, hang on. Are you making this wicked convenient hydroponics farm and store simulator? Like, I've got a box of romaine. Did you just magically create another box? So I don't have to go empty out that one and then go get more stuff? I'm going to put this to the test. <gasps> I've got infinite boxes. I'm going to go ahead and say, good job, Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator, for eliminating some of the less convenient and more annoying parts of simulator games. I absolutely assumed I was going to have to get a box, get the stuff, Go out to the store, stock the shelf, come back with the empty box, get some more stuff, rinse and repeat. No, no, no. I have infinite boxes. Every time I take a box, a new box magically appears. Am I going to have to pay for those? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Also, when I throw a box away, it magically disappears. Bill, Bill, we're on to a good thing here. Here's the thing, Bill, Bill. I know, you, you didn't think you were going to be a recurring character. You thought you were going to be in a one-off. I think we're going to play a little more of this, Bill. I'd like to see some more of Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator. I had no idea what I was getting into, but you know what? I, it's kind of... Bill, are, are you kind of catching the wave of this? Are you catching, as the kids say, the wave of Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator? Are you... Bill, you're just dead inside, aren't you? Guys, you know what? We'll come back to this. We're going to do a little bit more of Hydroponics Farm and Store Simulator. I'm, I'm kind of digging this a little bit. It's fun. It's kind of cute. And it's eliminating a lot of the more annoying and frustrating things that I find in simulator games and replacing them with things that are far more convenient. So guys, do please let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby-pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire. 
and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube awards ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. <laughs>